Chassidus came to show how it's close, how it's easier, how it's reachable. Tshuva is a way to get to what's, what a mitzvah is really all about. Tshuva is the realization that I have a connection with the Eibishter that is unbreakable. Tshuva is return. It's restoring yourself to the way that you naturally are. You don't have to go out and get it. It's within you. You have it in your heart. So I'm going to go back to being good. No. I'm going to be like everybody else, or I'm going to be like somebody who never sinned. No, that's not good. Tshuva doesn't mean I did it, I got it out of my system. You're wasting a juicy of error. Kodesh Baruch Hu took this neshama, and he threw it down at the Olam Hazar, and the neshama messed up and got stuck in the mud. Kodesh Baruch Hu looks, okay, it's an investment. There's, a, there's an inner reason for it, that the, why the neshama gave him. Tshuva means it makes me very sad that I once was the kind of person who thought such things would make him happy. And I'm not that person anymore. But now, knowing what I know, gives me a greater sensitivity. But I'm more careful about gravitating towards what's right because I got burnt in the past than if I had never been. The parent says, these are the rules, you gotta follow the rules, then you'll be a good boy and we'll give you dessert. So the kid feels, I, I want more than that. I don't wanna be just, you need me because I do these things. There's got to be more to it than that. I want to have a rela relationship directly with you. And what the kid does is go, let's see what happens if I break the rules. Do you still love me when I break the rules? The father, mother, whoever it is is upset, upset. But now when it's healed, you've, you've come much closer. You've shown that it's not really just about these rules, it's about I'm there inside the rules. So the rules are valuable because they're things that I really want for your sake, for our sake to connect us together. Tshuva is the realization that I have a connection with the Eibishter that is unbreakable, and whatever happened, doesn't matter. Whatever happened, he's still like, 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 like a father and children. Not, nothing can break that. We have to train our mind how to look on ourselves, how to look on Hashem looking on us. With Tshuva, you're able to come to a much deeper relationship. Now I can guard my relationship with Hashem so, with such vigilance that I never would have if I never had, if I never would have known what it means to lose it. It's something that's happening to you. Tshuva is allowing yourself to return to your natural state. Just show up, let it happen, submit yourself, surrender. That's what it's all about. Put yourself in Hashem's hands. He's got a program for you. Our whole generation is the story of Tshuva. Go over to Ayid with real Abbas Yisrael with confidence and certainty and warmth. You're a yid, and therefore, do a mitzvah. And that's the story of our generation. It changed the whole generation. There's thousands of Bali Tshuva. Sin is unnatural. Disconnection is unnatural. When we stray, we are straying from our true self. I'm a neshama. Kavod. How can a neshama be doing those things? That's not who I am. And that's not what I could be. So we have to go over to ourselves the same way, with Abbas Yisrael and confidence, and certainty. You're a Yid. You really care. Therefore, just, just do something. Start doing. 99.9% .9 of your time should be, set, be spent besimcha, thinking about what is it that I gotta be doing now. We're gonna do this together. Each one of us is gonna do a little bit of tshuva. And we're supporting each other. Come Sukkot, we're gonna dance together. Because Torah, we're gonna share in each other's victory.